hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to do a um, weekly check-in and I'm pretty devastated because I went to edit my last video, which would have been my um, December 8th cash stuffing video. Um, so I would have stuffed the cash into my cash envelopes and then also my sinking funds and doing my savings challenges. I recorded that entire video, did the entire process, and when I went to edit, edit it, my memory card was somehow corrupted and I couldn't pull any of the videos off of the memory card. So I'm so sorry you guys do not get to see that happen or you did not just get to see that happen. So, <clears throat> but I will be sure that um, I get everything situated by the next cash stuffing so that you guys can actually see the process because that's the funnest part um, of this whole process, I think. Um, so anyways, so my weekly check-in, basically what I do is, let me just get my um, budget planner open here. So the weekly check-in, um, I write down all of the expenses, which are from these envelopes. I write them down um, in my planner in the monthly section here. So I have these little expense stickers and each one, each color I should say, is for a different category of envelope. So you see I have all of my bill due stickers and whatnot. <clears throat> so my expense stickers basically show that I spent money out of a grocery um, envelope or gas, uh, etc. Um, and sorry, I'm still trying to get over this, um, I don't even know what it is, this illness that I have. It's just a lingering cough now. Um, so I'm still trying to get over that and I've heard that it's like weak, so that's exciting. So anyways, <clears throat> so today is the 14th. So tomorrow is payday again. Um, so last Friday was payday and you guys did see me do my um cash planning video so i got oh that's not it there we go so that was the cash planning for december 8th and then i stuffed all of the envelopes um, and that's what you guys did not see because of the dang memory card so today is the 14th so i'm just working on budgeting now for the week so i'm going to go over all of my expenses throughout the week um, put them in my transaction page, which is right here, and then I'll move them over into the weekly check-in. We're at week two. Yep, week two. Um, and then from there, I'll do another cash planning. That'll be in a separate video. And then I will do a cash stuffing, which will also be in a separate video. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to take out the transactions page. Another reason that I love the Happy Planner um, planners, <laughs> because the pages are removable, so it makes it easier um, to be able to work with things. Okay. So, I am going from December 9th, which was the day after I got paid last time, to um, actually tomorrow, but I'm just going to go through today because uh, that's, I don't know what I'm going to spend tomorrow. I actually don't have any intentions of spending anything tomorrow. Um, so, we're just going to go ahead and do everything as of today. <clears throat> so, the first thing that I want to do I have a bunch of my extra stickers in the back here. I'm gonna get out um, just these no spend stickers and I'm gonna put these in every day that I did not spend um, money from my cash envelope. So it the actual regular bills, that doesn't matter. It's whatever day I didn't spend money from these envelopes 
and we're just going to put one down, which would be for tomorrow. So we have one no spend day, and that's because I spent money out of envelopes on every single day. So this one will go towards the no spend challenge, which you guys will see in the cash stuffing um, envelope. Okay, so for transactions, I'm gonna do this to make so that you guys can see. So the first one we have here is yellow. So yellow is a spending category. Um, so I'm going to, the date on that one was 12, nine. So we'll write 12, nine. The amount was $13 and 85 cents. The category is spending. And the description, that one I went to Target. And like I said, these come from these cash envelopes, which I put in my billfold. So these come with me at all times. These are the ones I spend the most money out of. Um, there's groceries, gas, spending, uh, drinky drink, eating out, and extra. So that's where those are coming from. <clears throat> So the next one, I'm just gonna put a check mark there. The next one is a teal colored um, expense sticker and that's for gas. So that one was also on the 9th. That amount is $60.33 and that was gas. And that one was at Casey's. And now I don't mess with the change. So I'm writing down the change here, but when I get to the weekly check-in, I'm actually gonna round up. So it will be 61, 14, etc. So that will take care of that one. Flip this over so we can get to Sunday. So Sunday I went grocery shopping. So pink is for groceries and that was on the 10th. And I spent $125.64. Again, that was groceries, and that one was to Hy-Vee. Yellow is spending again. Um, so that was on the 11th, and that was for $3.61. Um, category of spending, and Casey's. I live in a, or actually, I live in a very small town, but I work in a little bit of a bigger town, but still small, um, in the Midwest, and so there's not a lot of options of places to go, so you will see in my transactions and weekly check-ins that I tend to go to the same places quite often. Like, the target for me is like 40 minutes away, so um, that one doesn't happen very often. Okay, so then on the 12th, um, purple is eating out, and I did spend $3 in the vending machine at work. So we have eating out, and I'm just going to put vending. And we're going to flip over one more time here. Hold on a second. Purple. Well, give me just a second because I think I, oh, you know what? I think purple is extra. Okay, I'm going to wipe that out. And I don't have my white out stick up here. This is actually from my extra and I only did that instead of eating out because I had $3 and I didn't want to get a bunch of quarters back from the vending machine by putting a five in there. So that one is actually extra. So then on the 13th, the blue is eating out, <clears throat> and that one was $26.75. So that one we will label right as eating out, and that was Pizza Hut. Um, we had Pizza Hut for supper that night. And then same day, um, $10, and that was for my weekly um, like juice bar drink that I get. And I'm just going to put drink as the description over here. 
Um, and then on Thursday, I had Subway for lunch for work. That was $9.82. Um, that was eating out. And that was at Subway. And the last thing was another spending on the 14th for $11.59. And that it was at Bongars. Okay, so those are my expenses for the week. Um, so now I am going to, I need to figure out a different way to where these two are not on the same page because now I have to flip back and forth. Um, so what I'm first going to do, I'm going to set this aside. So we're in week two. So I'm going to write um, my categories down first. So we'll do groceries, gas, Spending, eating out, my drinky drink, and last is extra. So those are the six categories that I have. So now I'm going to total up from my transaction side. Um, total up each category and then we will I'll take the money out of my envelopes um, and put those aside and now these will go toward my sink or um, savings challenges that I do in one of the next few videos um, so I'm going to put my calculator here so I have zoom in a little bit so you guys can see um, so we'll start with groceries and I obviously just have the one grocery transaction on the 10th so that's $125.64 like I said I'm going to round up so that will be a hundred I was thinking that was 124 nope it wasn't so $126 so I spent 126 so that means I'm just going to take my money out of here and see what I have left. So I have $24 left. So $24 is going to my savings challenges, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm gonna put these back in here. That way when I do my cash stuffing um, and cash planning, I have it all in here ready to go. Um, so next is gas, and I only had the one transaction for gas, which was $60.33. So that one's actually going to be $61. And I give myself $75 a week for gas, so I should have quite a bit left in this one. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So $14 remaining, and again, all 14 of that is going to go into savings challenges. So I could very easily just take all this money out, put it in a separate envelope like to go to the bank, but putting them into, or doing them then into savings challenges just makes it, you know, a little bit funner. Um, so the next we'll do spending. So I have one, two, three different spending expenses. So we have the 1385, which is gonna be 14. And then 361, so that'll be four. And the last one is 1159, so that'll be 12. So we have $30 in spending. So I have, looks like $10 left, because I put $40 in there. So we have $10 left from spending. Um, next is eating out. <clears throat> and eating out, I have three transactions. We have, oh wait, nope, nope, that one is extra. So we're gonna skip that one. So the first one is 27, and then the second one is 10. So $37 in eating out. And I have three dollars left. Put 
that back in there, so we're left with three. Um, drink. I know I spent $10 on my weekly drink. And that's all I put in that envelope, so I have nothing left in that one. That one is empty. Um, and then last is extra, and that was just that $3 vending machine charge. I didn't use anything else out of the extra envelope. So I should have $12 in here, and that I do. that back in there. So I have $12 left over. So for a total this week that will be going towards my savings challenges, I have 24 plus 14 plus 10 plus 3 plus 12. So I have $63 to go towards um, savings challenges. So I am going to just put that on the bottom here. So that's super exciting. So $63 left for savings challenges. And now some people might ask why I don't just then reduce the amount of money that I'm putting in my um, envelopes to begin with into these ones so that I'm not left with so much money and I can budget that money you know, at the beginning of the week into different categories. Um, but I like to do it this way. I like to have money left over for my savings challenges. And there are days um, or weeks that I will spend everything in the envelopes. It just depends kind of on what's going on um, at that particular time. So I'm gonna put this uh, back into here. And now I will do this again next Thursday or Friday um, for that week. So the next video that you will see will be my cash planning. Um, I haven't, I still have to pay some of my um, regular bills that are coming up for the next week. So my mortgage is due. Um, <clears throat> so I do have to pay that. And um, so I'm going to figure out what I need to take out for my extra bills. And then everything else will go into the my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, and my savings challenges. Um, so I will do that in the next video, so you guys will have to come back for that. And then the exciting part is actually getting to stuff the envelopes and do my different savings challenges. So you guys will have to stay tuned for those videos. Um, I know this was a shorter video, but the weekly check-ins don't take me very long. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button down below. It really, really helps my channel and um, I would love to be able to grow and reach out to more people. Um, hit, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, just leave them down below. I love reading your guys' comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.